Okay, item 8A, discussion and possible action. So, David, I know there's a couple of moving yeah, parts on, here. So. On this item, um, neither myself nor Mr. Curtis can be involved, so we're going to step down and going to ask Mr. Vignola and Ms. Uh, Petty Rosenberg to come up in our place. Thank you. You got it. Thank you. All right, so basically there was an investigation done about a complaint, um, and I want, I want to thank Ms. Uh, Chattergoon um, for doing this. Really do, from the bottom of my heart. I, this is not easy to do. Um, it's tough, and she did it very professionally, so thank you. I'd like um, to make a motion. Actually, also, um, Major Burnett. Yeah, and, and thank you, Major Burnett, and everybody involved. This was, uh, you know, it, it's something that you don't deal with all the time. So with that being said. And I'd like to make a motion. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I want to make a motion to adopt the findings of the independent investigation report prepared by Rita Chattagun, dated July 9th, 2024, and the report prepared by Alan Bennett, dated June 28, 2024, regarding the complaint dated May 5th, 2024, and to make the termination of not sustained with no further disciplinary action as to the allegations for all the following violations. Interim Chief Mike Palmer for workplace discrimination, workplace retaliation and harassment. General Order 7.3.44, workplace violence. And General Order 7.3.63, harassment. And two, City Manager Kale Curtis for veracity, moral turpitude, ethics violations, and workplace violence policy. And three, City Attorney David Tulsis for veracity, moral turpitude, ethics violations, and workplace violence policy. I'll second that. Okay. Commissioner Arcerio. Yes, yeah, sorry. My light was lit because I was going to make uh, a similar motion, but, um, you know, I, I know when we voted to do this investigation, um, I was hesitant on it. Um, I know, I think you were as well, Mayor. Um, I hope this is it. It's it, um, it's it to me. But even though I wasn't a fan of doing it, I voted to support the investigation. And I want to thank everyone that was involved. Um, I read the both reports. They were very thorough and complete. And, um, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinions, but not their own facts. And Correct. this third party looked at all, I think they interviewed 16 people, looked at all the policies, got all the facts together, and this is what their expertise is. Um, in times past, in other totally separate investigations, they found things that mm -hmm. were, were sustained. So it's not like they're always sustained or not sustained, but in this case, um, it was very thorough and complete, and uh, I do support the motion. You do. All right. Any other discussion from the commission? All right, there's a motion on the table, open to the public. Okay. Do you have any questions? Is now's your time to come up? You can come up to the microphone. How can we talk when we don't even know what it's to about? To see you in the Margate resident. I mean. Uh, several, several months ago at a commission meeting, there was a complaint made against some employees that the commission hires. We voted on it. We talked about it maybe at several meetings, two meetings, I think it was, um, to look into it. And the unanimous decision was to look into it and do a report and find out the facts on it. The report was done by an outside person, no involvement with anybody here, along with a major sitting in with them. We went as far as to also put somebody in charge of it that had nothing to do, his name was not mentioned in the case, and also uh, and basically hired another attorney. That's what the outside commission attorney. wanted, outside yeah. attorney. So there was nothing, no commingling of anything going on. The report took probably three weeks, four weeks maybe. It came back with all the evidence, um, all the facts, I should say. The facts on assumptions or allegations that were made so we have that. It's not released, being able to release to the public as of yet. So we have it. We read, I'm, I'm sure everybody here read it. 
and based upon the facts that were provided, I think that's what exactly what Commissioner Kajana was saying with his facts supplied to the city and to the commission, well, to the commission, that we're basing our decision on that. If I could just add on to that, just for public perception, not to get into the meat and potatoes of what it was, but two things. Number one, you know, I, I would have preferred for us to be able to talk about this. Mm -hmm. However, because it involves law enforcement, there's officer bill of rights that have to be followed and there's certain procedures that we have to take. They have to be notified first. They have to be notified when the when it's complete. So that's why we haven't been able to discuss it more openly. Um, once we vote on it tonight, it's my understanding it that everything public, is right? public um, because there's a lot of police, certain things that can't be public names and things like that because they're officers it will need to be heavily redacted. Um, so that does take time, um, and that's why it's not in the backup. But I just wanted to be clear, there, there's state statutes that prevented us from talking about this until it's completed. Okay. But or, okay. or having any information leaked out. Correct. <clears throat> when are we gonna say enough is enough? I mean, I, I did, come on, some about of that. the residents when this, know when this who happened. this person is. It's not, you know, I mean, it's, you, we know, basically. And when is it going to be enough is enough? Why are we letting this, this officer keep on dragging people down and doing this? Um, Arlene, my time, I... Oh, I stopped you. Okay, well, I just, I just since I'm speaking, you. I... But okay, I'm I think that we should... Enough is enough. Let's get rid of them. All I'm going to say to you because, is as long as an employee has a credible complaint, there is a well, process by which we have okay, to follow. Well, I mean, we know some of the things he did was illegal too, but yet he wants to still be here. He shouldn't be. Okay. Is there anybody else? I got to tell you that we were totally transparent with this from the, from the beginning. There was a complaint and you know the the residents voted years ago that we we could hire fire suspend investigate the people and we had no other choice um so everything was as transparent as it could be the report came back and the findings were there now it's up to the commission to decide on whether accepted or not yeah accepted and, or not accepted also not to interrupt on speaking of transparency if and we're only other city that can do this is Sunrise, and probably not many in the state. The laws change a little bit, but if this charter wasn't changed and we were under the old system, this would have never come to public light. Lots would the never city, have the, come up. Yeah, the third floor wouldn't have been able to handle this behind closed doors and no one would have ever known about it. So I know some people were for the charter change, more were for than against, but for those that were against it, just understand that if we didn't have this authority, y'all would probably never even know about it. And quite frankly, I don't even know if all of us would know about it either. Okay, anybody else from the public? Yeah? You have a motion, you have a second? Oh, hold on. Um, I do have to say that in the past, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but there are residents in Margate that know a lot more than you guys know before you even know it. So ask your residents. I mean, a lot of times they know more than you do. And it's sad. Okay. Jen, call the roll. Commissioner Casciano? Yes. Commissioner Simone? Yes. Commissioner Osterio? Yes. Vice Mayor Schwartz? Yes. Mayor Rosano? Yes. Thank you for sitting up here. And Rhea, thank you again for <laughs> thank the Thank you for all your help doing this. Um, I guess that's it. Guys, have a great weekend. God bless, and I'll uh, see you next time. See you tomorrow night's meeting. See you around. Meeting adjourned.